Welcome to State of Tech. This is James here and I have another iPad Air tip for you. I'm going to show you how to use AirDrop on your iPad. So for this video, I'm going to bring in my iPhone here. I'm going to set it here on the top of the screen. And what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to use AirDrop. So let's just open up the Photos app and then come into a photo. Let's just say this one right here. What I'm going to do is now hit the share button down here in the bottom left hand corner and it's going to open up my AirDrop share menu where I can do AirDrop, messages, mail, Twitter, Facebook, or Flickr. And then I can also set it as wallpaper and everything like that. Now to access AirDrop, what we have to do is open up our control panel and go to AirDrop down here in the bottom left in the menu. I can tap on that and now I can turn on for everyone or contacts only. Now contacts only is only going to allow the phones that are in the vicinity of my phone to be addressed by my contacts. Everyone is going to be everyone that's near me that has AirDrop on. I'll be able to see them pop up in this menu. The thing is I have to enable this on both devices. So I'm going to come into AirDrop on the iPhone, tap that, and let's just go and tap everyone for this example. We'll tap everyone here as well. Now what's going to happen is in this menu, you now see the actual thumbnail of my phone here right on this side of the menu. I also have another iPhone in the vicinity so I can see that one as well here in this menu. Now if I tap on the iPhone, I'll go ahead and tap there, it's going to load this little screen up here on my iPhone over here that's going to ask me to accept the incoming transmission. So I'm going to go ahead and tap accept, it's going to download the photo to my phone and then open it right up for me. Now I can also do this if I were to open up say Safari and actually come to a web page right here. So see I wanted my friend to see this web page. I'm going to move my phone out of the way for a second. We'll tap on the actual share button up here and you see AirDrop opens up right here in the top menu. So I can actually send this actual web page to my friend's phone. So I'll go ahead and tap on that, tap on their profile picture on the phone. I'm going to be asked to accept this and then it's going to load me up right into Safari, right to the web page that I'm viewing here on my iPad. And that's how you're going to use AirDrop on the iPad Air. For more iPad Air tips, be sure and visit stateoftech.net.